Welcome back to the dramatics of Alexia, y'all. Y'all, I am not a fan of cold, windy weather at all. Good morning, and welcome to another vlog. Today is the Monday before Thanksgiving whatever date that is so yeah today is the Monday before Thanksgiving Monday the 20th I'm starting a three-day trip we are doing a um, where are we going Burlington back Vermont to, back to JFK doing a Rome. yeah <laughs> we're doing a Burlington Vermont turn so JFK to Burlington Vermont then back and then we're gonna end up in um, I'll get back with y'all on that, y'all. I'm tired. I just got back to JFK last night, like around 10, went to bed at 11, was on call at 2 a.m. this morning, and they gave me a little break. They gave me some sleep time. They called me at 6 for this three days, so here we go. Okay, so we're ending in Portland, Maine. This doesn't really sound like that exciting of a place to go, but we're going. And y'all see why I say I never wear red lipstick? Because that happens. Whatever. Time to board. Bye. So, just finished the second leg. We're back in JFK. So, we have about an hour sit here in JFK. I was prepared this time. I brought my lunch. So, I'm about to turn this hot logic on and warm up this food. And hopefully, it'll be warm enough to eat by the time we begin boarding. I wonder why it takes bags so long to come once you get off the aircraft. Everybody be playing probably about 10, 10 minutes ago and they're still taking the bags off the plane. So yeah and then here at my airline um, if you are like a certain loyalty type of member um, your bags are supposed to come out first and things like that so I guess these bad guys not bad guys, excuse my terminology. The ground crew, um, ground operations, they have to um, organize them a certain way. So that's why it takes so long, but looks like he's almost done. But let's talk a little bit about this reserve life. So the last trip I did was two weeks ago, I think, um, when I had the San Juan layover and the crazy turbulence. That was my last trip. That was a three day trip. And I had a five block reserve day last week and did not get used once. Not once, y'all. I was on reserve from 3 a.m. to 1 p.m. Monday through Friday and did not get used. Um, I was off Saturday, Sunday, went to San Francisco, visited a friend, got back. And then today I was on reserve at 2 a.m. to 12 p.m. and I got a call. So, so sitting on reserve for five days and not getting used last week I was kind of okay with it because I was just tired like to be honest I wasn't really in the mood to fly to work it's just like that sometimes most airlines have a list that you can look at if you're sitting reserve or hot ready or what every what other airlines call it you know every airline has their own terminology for it but most of them have a list that you can look at and see where you fall. Last week, I knew all week long that I wasn't going to get used. So, let me see if I can explain this as best as possible without kind of confusing y'all. So here at my airline, you can be on reserve up to six days at a time, back to back to back, before you have to take a day off. Um, so, I had a five-day block that started last week. So when you look at our sheet, it shows all the people that are on reserve that have five available days, and then it shows what time those people are on reserve, um, and then it also shows how many hours you have. So that's how you can determine if you're going to work or not. So last week, I had a five-day block. I was sitting at 30 hours for the month, and I was starting at 3 a.m. What I look at is the five-day block people, see how many people are in that block. Then I look and see um, how many hours I have. 
compared to everybody else and then I look and see at what time I start. So when crew scheduling calls you, they do it based on, okay, who started their reserve first, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., then it trickles on down. So out of everybody that's on a five-day reserve block, and if there's four of us that start at 2 a.m., and between the four of us, our hours range from 20 to 40 hours, the person with the least hours is going to get called first. So it's going to trickle down like that, right? And then they go to the 3 a.m. So they use all the 2 a.m.s and so on and so on and so on. So for instance, for today, I was a 2 a.m.er, which is very rare. They don't have a lot of 2 a.m.ers. It's usually a lot of 3 a.m.ers. So when I looked at the list last night, I'm starting a three-day block. Um, and there was, I want to say about a good 40 people in the three-day block that are on reserve. Um, and I was technically towards the bottom of the list because I still had 30 hours, which this is just a slow month, y'all, so people don't have a lot of hours at all because 30 is not a lot. But that's, I had more than majority of the other people sitting in the three-day block. But because I started at 2 a.m., which is the earliest reserve time for the start of a new day, that means I'm going to be one of the first to get called on the list if they had a trip. So when I looked at it last night, I was like, oh my God, like, because I had just got back at 11 p.m. last night. Well, I got back at 10 and then it took me about an hour to get there and, you know, get settled in. So as soon as I saw that, I said, okay, I can't even watch TV or anything. I just need to go to bed because there was, um, there was only three of us on the 2 a.m. reserve and I was the third person, like number three out of the two because I had more hours than the other. So then, once you kind of figure that out, I'm probably confusing the mess out of y'all, but once you kind of figure that out, then you go and look at our schedule of um, flights and things that are open, pe that people have dropped or that need to be picked up or things like that. So as a reserve, you can't really pick up like in the moment, the day of, like you have to kind of bid for it and either they'll award it to you or not. So there were a few trips for today that fell into that time slot that I knew I would possibly get used for. So I guess some line holders maybe picked up some of those earlier trips, which is good because I was able to sleep in until 6 a.m. I got a call at, I think she called me like at 6.05 this morning for a report time of 8.40 a.m. to do this three-day trip so this trip is three legs today we did a JFK Burlington Vermont turn and now we're heading to um, JF from JFK to Portland Maine then we lay over there for about 13 hours or so and then tomorrow we have four legs I don't know what it is I haven't even looked ahead and then um, we lay over in Burlington, Vermont tomorrow. And then the third day we have three legs and then we end back in JFK and I get to go sleep in my own bed. So that's what this trip is about. Hey y'all, so I'm here at the hotel in Portland, Maine. Um, I'm gonna give you a little quick tour, it's nothing special. Walk through the door, you got open closet area, restroom, I didn't even look at the tub yet. Oops. Basic. Um, it's a nice mirror for me to look at myself. Two double beds. Just the basics, y'all. And this is my view. It's okay. It's not bad. So, anywho, as y'all know, usually for my layovers, as soon as I get to the hotel, I usually like to just nap it out for a bit, but we have a really early wake up call in the morning. Um, our shuttle time is 4.20 a.m. Did y'all hear that? 4.20 a.m. <sighs> Help me. So I don't want to like lay down and take a long nap and then be up tossing and turning all night. I need to make sure that I'm well rested for our customers tomorrow with a nice pretty smile and no red lipstick. <laughs> um, so what I'm about to do is go find a nail shop because I broke some nails, um, get some good food, 
and my F2, I'm on the E90 today, so it's only two of us. So my other, the other flight attendant working with me, he does stand-up comedy. So he was like, you want to come to my show tonight? So I was like, oh, that'll be awesome. So I'm going to go and watch him tonight. So that should be fun. My brother, he, uh, he's the king of getting out of parking tickets. I don't know if you guys get parking tickets here. Yeah? All right. We're, I'm slowly narrowing down the relatability <laughs> to parking tickets. Ever get them? Cool. <laughs> Anyways, he, um, he fights every ticket he gets, and he wins every time. I don't know how he pulled it off. So one day, he got a parking ticket, and I was like, I'm gonna go with this. That's how he gets out of these things. And what happened was, he got a parking ticket in the parking lot of Home Depot because he parked in a handicap spot. He went to the judge, and the judge was like, well, why'd you park there if you're not handicapped? And he goes, well, at the time I had such bad diarrhea that I felt handicapped. <laughs> and the judge looked at him and was like, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> and he didn't let him go. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. So that was enjoyable. I've enjoyed this layover. I love it when I'm able to get out, even if I do just the smallest of the basic things. It's nice to go to different states, go to different cities, see just, you know, different towns and things like that. I love it and I'm so glad he invited me to the comedy club. I'm probably gonna have to beep out majority of what he was saying or really cut and edit all of that. Um, it was a little explicit, very funny, but um, I don't know how young y'all ears may be. Y'all probably don't need to hear all of that. Funny thing is though, is that, so you know, usually it's cool, you, you hardly work with the same people time and time again, unless you just like buddy bid or whatever. You're super senior and you and the same person always do the same trips, whatever. But at my little level, reserve level, I haven't even told y'all yet. This is my last month being reserved. Oh my God! Hallelujah. But I'll get to that later. Um, oh, I'm just so happy thinking about it. <laughs> God, it's so good. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, on my little level, being reserved flight attendant, being super junior, you always work with different people. Like, I haven't worked with the same person yet. And I'm not going to. We, we have about... 2,000 plus flight attendants at JFK base um, for my airline. So I'm saying all of that because when I first met my F2 today, he seemed like very just like conservative, reserved, laid back, but you know, not really talkative, just really professional, like on his game. For me, like when you meet me, I'm, I kind of just go with the flow. Like, you want to be bubbly and popping, I'm going to be bubbly and popping. If you want to just be calm, cool, and collected, I can do that too. I'm a Gemini. I can. I just kind of go with whatever. Like, that's who I am. Um. So when he told me today he was going to a comedy club to do stand-up, I was like, you? <laughs> so it was really interesting. I just, I absolutely love that part of this job. I've said it before, I love the fact that I get to constantly meet new people, co-workers and just random people. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love, love, love that part of that job. So if you're looking forward to being a flight attendant, look forward to meeting new people on a daily and just exploring y'all. Come on, put in these applications, get these CJOs. I can't wait for y'all to get to experience this. Anyways, it is 9.14 p.m. I have set my alarm for 3.30 a.m. because shuttle comes at 4.20 and I need to be well rested. We have four legs tomorrow and I still don't know where we're going. We'll figure that out in the morning. Good night, y'all. All right, y'all. So, good morning. It was a rough start this morning, but 
Here we are, leg number two. I got some food in my system. We're gonna do the Syracuse turn, knock that out, and then we head to Burlington, Vermont tonight, and I'm gonna sleep real good. I'm tired. 30 minutes sit here in Syracuse, and it's snowing, y'all. <laughs> I don't do snow, so I'm ready to go. But it's nice to just kick my feet up for a second and um, just relax. I don't know why I'm so tired today. I have no idea. But two more legs to go, then we're done. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Dramatics of Alexia, y'all. Y'all, I am not a fan of cold, windy weather at all. And I'm in Vermont right now, and it's really not that cold, but that wind was so disrespectful. So I'm just going to be a little dramatic about it because I'm mad about it. But let's talk about today, y'all. So <clears throat> this is a long duty day. A duty day meaning like the time that you clock in for work to the time that you end. So we had a report time of 4.49 this morning. So I was supposed to wake up at 3.30. I guess I dozed back to sleep after I turned my alarm off. Didn't get up till like 3.45, 3.50. Shuttle came at 4.20. So I was just all discombobulated, y'all. Got to the airport on time. Today we had four legs, and I'm really not a fan of ever doing four legs. I don't care how short the flights are. Four legs is just long. I don't care if they're 10-minute flights. Just, it's just It makes for a very long day. So we started at basically 4.50 today and just ended maybe about... 50 minutes ago. It's 2 p.m. now. So that's just a really long duty day. Um, our flights were short. They were all less than an hour. I think the longest one was 55 minutes. The first leg was good. Second leg was good. The third leg, how would I describe it? Those people were active. They were coming from Syracuse. Syracuse to New York, but it was like it was uh, like a connecting flight basically so pretty much everybody on the flight was connecting to get to somewhere else and there was a lot of people connecting to get to Florida thing about flights to Florida from JFK they're crazy so we had a little bit of those crazies on the Syracuse flight so it just made for a very active flight to say the least. We ended up being delayed a little bit in the beginning because there was some type of ca cable hanging inside the aircraft and it took the mechanic like 45 minutes to come and tape the little cable back up. So that delayed us. Um, and then just a lot of wheelchairs, about nine people in wheelchairs. I would have to say the not annoying, but just like, what's the word that I'm looking for? The most time-consuming part about this job, about being a flight attendant, is the boarding process. I don't care what airline you're at. It's just annoying. People don't know where their seats are. People are sitting in the wrong seat. People are fighting over overhead bin space. They don't want their stuff to go to the back. Just, that is the most annoying. It's just annoying. It really is. It's the most annoying part about the flight. So that's what also made for a long day. You got to board and deplane four times in one day. It just uh, blow my mind. Oh my God. It's just so funny. I guess like whenever I, the more irritated I get, you know, and just the more tired I become, the more preppy I become. I'm just like, uh, you know, just trying to make the best out of the situation. Smiling and laughing. We had one guy that got bumped from the earlier flight because he had a um a like a portable oxygen thing with him but there's you know there's certain rules and regulations you have to follow and his oxygen wasn't charged enough and things like that so they had you know they told him he couldn't take that flight he had to let his oxygen charge and then um he would be able to get on the next flight so the next flight was hours away you know he was all charged up it was him and his daughter he was an older man i want to say maybe about 80 plus his daughter was probably looked like she was about in her 50s or so and then maybe they i guess they had like a grandchild with them or something she was like four he was so cranky y'all <laughs> 
He was so cranky. So I just had to turn it on for him and just be really like over the top nice and helpful just to kind of like ease him up a little bit. You know, like, I'm tired too. I understand you're tired too, but like, let's just get through this 44 minute flight, please. So, you know, that happened and then somebody else is coming on board and the cranky man's daughter and granddaughter were sitting in the other two seats and they actually happened to be sitting in somebody else's seat. So he got cranky all over again. So I had to defuse that little situation, which the two people that were supposed to be in the other seats, they were really nice about it. So that always makes, you know, your job easier when at least one set of the people are being really understanding. They just took other seats, thankfully. It was just a long day. Then the fourth flight was easy breezy as well. Like if all four of the flights could have been easy breezy, I probably wouldn't be so tired as I am right now. But it's really mentally draining having to just stay positive, keep smiling, you know, just be that face of the airline that you're supposed to be no matter how long you've been up, how many legs you've worked, how many coffees you've done poured. Like the customers don't want to hear that. So, you do this, and then people get off the plane, and they tell you, oh my gosh, you have the patience of Job, you're so sweet, you're so nice, and all you're thinking in your head is like, oh yes, now please get off the plane so I can go to bed, you know? <laughs> but I still love my job, you know, that's really it. Hey, y'all. So, I finally woke up from my nap, and it was a good nap. So I decided to come to, I guess this is downtown Burlington. I'm on Church Street. I guess it's their touristy area. Some street with lots of little shopping and food places. So I'm gonna walk the little street and see what I can find. Well, it's a little cold outside, but not unbearable. They said this is actually really warm weather for this time of year, and I'm like, warm? But, um, guess I won't be doing any shopping. It looks like all the clothing stores are closed for the day, but if I have another layover, I'll definitely get out here earlier, because they have some really cute boutiques out here. Oh, this one's open. And it looks like they have some nice warm stuff. It looks a little fancy though. Let's see. This little thing came off and this is the last one they have in my size. I mean, but it's literally just super glued. <laughs> that means that one can pop off in a second. Too. Well, I ended up leaving empty handed. Those shoes are so comfortable though, but what's the purpose of buying something that's already damaged? Like that little pom-pom ball will pop off anytime. So, no, no, no shoe, next time maybe. Day three, 3.45 a.m. Shuttle comes at 4.30 and I'm tired. It's early morning trips. I'm not really. It's time to get ready. And I'm back to JFK. Three, three flights and we were done today. Nothing was super crazy. I'm just ready to get it over with. That last leg of a, any last day of trip is always so long and annoying. So, about to hop on the shuttle, y'all. Hi! I have to hurry up, catch a train, go to Connecticut for Thanksgiving. Thank you! So, thank y'all for watching. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!